morning welcome back to my channel it's Cheyenne and today is Sunday October 28th um, today I'm doing kind of a fun video I am going to be baking some chocolate chip cookies for one of the vets that wrote me a letter of recommendation so I thought I would go ahead and take y'all along for that um, this is by far the best chocolate chip cookie recipe I have ever come across um, so yeah, I didn't come up with it myself, but I uh, modified the recipe just a tiny bit. So yeah, I thought you might be interested in seeing that. Um, this will probably be more like a vlog style, come with me, bake with me type of thing. So yeah, let's uh, get down to the kitchen. So I am sitting in my kitchen now and... I am pulling up the recipe for the chocolate chip cookies. I actually got it off of the New York Times recipe, or recipe. I got it off of the New York Times website, um, which I actually don't have access to anymore because I guess like they cut off your access after so many views, so like you have to pay for it, which I mean, totally understand. But I did end up pulling a copy off of the website. And so yeah, I guess I'll show that to you really quickly. Okay, so pay no mind to this sidebar. Um, yeah, that's what the recipe looks like. That's what the cookies are theoretically supposed to look like. Will they actually look like that? Probably not, but that's okay. So yeah, we got a few things going on. Got some recipe and ingredients, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, oops. Probably a good sign that I should stop talking. But yeah, um, so the thing about this recipe is that, like, it calls for some, like, I feel like unnecessarily extra steps and ingredients. For example, like the first thing is two cups minus two tablespoons of cake flour. Really? Minus two tablespoons? Like, come on. So yeah, it calls for cake flour and bread flour. I actually don't use either of those. I just use regular all-purpose flour, which I don't really know what it does, but I still think that they taste good. So um, that's one of the modifications that I make. Um, let's see. And then it calls for bittersweet chocolate discs. Um, I'm not about that, so I just use regular semi-sweet. And yes, I think those are the only modifications I make, so I don't change the recipe too much. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. And I'll go ahead and pull all the ingredients out of my fridge now. Okay, so we are back. Here is a flat lay, kind of, of all of the ingredients. Don't worry, I'm not using all four sticks of butter. Um, but yeah, I got some eggs, salt, vanilla, baking powder, butter, unsalted baking soda, semi-sweet chocolate morsels slash chips, granulated sugar, flour, brown sugar, and yes, I think that's all. So, let's get started. Ooh, don't mind my ugly thumb and nail. It's out of focus anyways. Okay, bye! Okay, wow, hello. Okay, there I am. So, got a new camera angle coming at ya. I'm gonna start with the dry ingredients. Two cups plus two tablespoons, not, or not plus two tablespoons, two cups of flour first. <laughs> Had to get a butter knife so I could be professional, you know. All right, so. two-thirds cup of bread flour. Okay, so we'll add just more all-purpose flour. So another cup. Goodness, this is a lot of flour. Oof. It's gonna make a lot of cookies though. Every time I make this, I have leftovers for days. So, okay. So three cups total, then we'll add an additional two-thirds cup. Can you see that? One-third? Yes. One-third. Two-thirds. All right. Wow. Holy moly. Okay. So, dump the flour. Put that away. Thank goodness, because it always makes a mess. You see that? You see that? That's a mess. Okay. Then what do you want me to add next? One and one quarter teaspoons of baking soda. See? See here? Can you read that? There we go. Baking soda. We want one and one quarter. Here's one teaspoon. And then a quarter teaspoon. Boom, done with the baking soda. And then they want one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So again, one teaspoon, and then one half. 
spoon. All right, okay, we need one and a half teaspoons of coarse salt. I don't have coarse salt, I have regular iodized salt, so we'll go with that. Let's we'll start with the one half teaspoon this time. Oh goodness, okay, yeah, but hmm. over poured it a little bit, that's okay. And then one teaspoon. Y'all, every time it comes to salt and baking, I just have such terrible memories. One time when I was younger, me and my friend tried to bake cookies, but instead of adding like sugar, I put salt, and um, I'm sure you can imagine how that turned out. They were really salty and disgusting, and my family made fun of me for a long time. They still make fun of me for it, so. Okay, that's it for the dry ingredients. So, um, I guess I'll just take my butter knife and mix that up a little bit. I sound so unsure, but I promise I've made these many times, so don't be scared. I know what I'm doing, kind of. So just like that, our dry ingredients are done. Now we will go ahead and start on our wet ingredients. Okay, hello, I'm back. Um, so I've kind of run into a small issue. I thought I took the butter out early enough that it would soften, but... I mean, like, it's a little soft, but it's not, like, as soft as we need it to be. So, I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned. Um, it works kind of okay, but, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll work with what we've got. Okay, see? So we've got this measuring cup right here, right? What we're going to do is take this over to the sink area. Don't have my chicken. I'm going to try and meal prep later. Um, yes, also don't mind my dishes. I know, cute angles everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna take our measuring cup, put some water in it. Then we're going to put this water in the microwave. We'll heat it up for like a good, let's say like two minutes, because I always, wow, I don't even know what you were looking at just now. Anyways, I always overshoot it when it comes to microwaving things, and I, I make things too hot. So we'll heat it up for two minutes, and then after that, you pour the water out, and like the glass will be hot still, obviously. And then you like put the butter like inside the hot glass and it's supposed to help like I almost said defrost help uh soften the butter without completely melting it it does get like a little bit melty but again we're doing the best that we can so um I'll take care of that and hopefully that works and I'll catch you in a second okay so I've got my measuring cup I don't know if you can see that it's steaming um and yeah I'm just gonna take the butter Put it in there and then I think you're supposed to like put it upside down so that's that's what we've got going on um I'll let you know how it works I guess yeah okay update so you know how I said I always overshoot it I think I undershot it this time because I was scared of overshooting it so I'm gonna repeat that process let the water cook in the microwave for a little bit longer and then while I'm doing that, I am going to start measuring out all the sugar and stuff. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna start putting the sugar in there. So hopefully when the butter's done, we can just go ahead and keep moving. So let's see. I need one and one quarter cups of light brown sugar. Oh goodness, now I'm getting brown sugar all over my laptop. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I really hope he appreciates these cookies cause it's kind of stressing me out. Okay, two, three, four, five. Boom, okay. Now we're going to add the white sugar. Maybe. One cup plus two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Okay, we're just gonna do one cup. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and we'll just add the two tablespoons but that's fine so this bad boy is super steamy you thought it was steamy last time it's super steamy now not that you can see it probably still so do the same thing with the butter the tops of the butter will definitely melt because there's a hot glass directly touching it but that's okay and I think I might be done with my butter knife but we'll just set it aside just in case because lord knows I'll probably need it later all right friends wow you can't see my face that's okay all right yeah, was it worth it? I don't know. So, I guess I can talk about why I'm doing this. So I kind of said a little bit earlier that I'm making these for the vet, or one of the vets that wrote me a letter of recommendation for vet school. 
um, just as a thank you because I know he is a very busy person and um, I mean nobody really likes writing unless you're an English major Maggie um, but anyways so yeah um, that was really nice of him and I'm sure it helped my application a lot still waiting to hear back on that I think I'll start hearing by like mid-November so that's kind of scary but also really exciting um, if by chance any of you are interested in veterinary medicine and want tips on how to get into vet school and just like what the process looks like I would definitely be uh, happy to make those kinds of videos I'll probably wait until I actually get like accepted into school so I can give you good advice um, but yeah that's definitely something that I would like to do oh yeah the tops of those butters are melting ooh and they're super soft yay okay well now that yeah they're soft enough okay see see, see the top is really melty Wow, the focusing on this camera is not the best. Am I a beauty guru? Ooh, okay, hey. Anyways, it's soft. So we need two and a half sticks of this. I'm not even gonna change the camera angle. You can see, oh, this is kind of a mess. Okay, let's see if I can open this. This butter is being a pain in the booty. That's okay. All right, there's one. There's two. Ooh, I'm glad I saved my butter knife because I need to cut this butter in half. Just everywhere, that's gross. All right, and a half, two and a half. Okay, so now that that's done, I can cream these together, and yeah. So I'm okay. gonna take my hand, well, there it is, my hand mixer. It's just to use a pal attachment, but I don't have one of those, so this is fine. And we're gonna try and cream this and not make a mess. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, beautiful, that's looking a lot better. So now, add eggs, one at a time. Add egg one. <laughs> Lovely, that is done. Then we'll add our other egg. All right, that's done. And finally, we'll add our two teaspoons of vanilla. One teaspoon. And two teaspoons. Okay, lovely. So all of our all of our wet ingredients are mixed together. Add dry ingredients and mix until just combined. Okay, okay let me add the flour first. Let me not be a ding dong. Okay, that's that's enough probably. Okay. Lovely. Well more. it's fine um i'm sure you don't need me to tell you this but like obviously make sure you're doing this on low otherwise the flour will spray everywhere and yeah okay please so now we will add our chocolate semi-sweet chocolate morsels wow oh man i just did arm day yesterday this is gonna hurt i just did like half of that because like do we really need two bags worth of chocolate chips <sighs> probably not refrigerate for 24 to 36 hours okay so we won't be doing that anyways i'm not gonna bake all of these at once because like look at that that is a lot so i'll probably refrigerate these for like half an hour to an hour then i'll cook off my first batch and then whatever i don't cook it can stay in the fridge for longer so i am going to cover these and put them in the fridge then we'll come back in a little bit. The little cut things on here just poke me. You know, I really love cooking and baking, but sometimes I am just too much. It takes too long and I get tired. I'm really impatient. I know I need to work on that, but uh, it's fine. If everything is fine. Maybe. If this cling wrap clings, then everything will be fine. Yes! Oh, this is so much better than the dollar version of this. If you're gonna invest your money in something, invest it in cling rack. Cling rack, yes. Cling wrap. Cling wrap. That doesn't stay. Sucks. And it's frustrating. Okay, so. You see my fridge? Okay, yeah. Push that out the way. And put the cookies right there. And, yeah. Oof. That was a long process, but it's fine. We made it through, we did it together. So uh, I'm gonna close the fridge and stop wasting electricity, first of all. Then I'll let those hang out in there for like half an hour. 
come back and bake them and I'll show you the final product. Of course, I will take many beautiful aesthetic cookie pictures, maybe. And yeah. Oh, I don't have parchment paper. That's fine. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so we're back. Um, it's been about an hour. I am going to go ahead and pull the cookies out of the fridge and probably take a couple pictures of the dough. And then um, we'll line it, we'll put them on the parchment paper. We'll put them on the cookie sheet, which I will line with parchment paper, and then we'll bake them. Okay, so now I'm going to line the pans with parchment paper and put the cookies on there. If you hear squeaking, that's because Emily and her dog are here, so. Oh. No tea, there's no tea. Oh no! What? I don't know what Greek saying. Oh, you dang. You can't meet another dog? You don't like dogs. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh. Anyways, I finished putting all the cookies on the cookie sheet. I might have to do a couple more batches because this isn't that many cookies. Um, so yeah, I turned the oven on to 350. Oh goodness. I turned the oven on to 350, so that's been preheating. Um, so I'll go ahead and stick those in there and bake them for like 10 minutes probably. And yeah. Okay, so go ahead and take this tray over to the oven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we'll put that one in there. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Ooh, that's hot. Wow, okay. And yeah. Okay, so the timer just went off for the cookies. Okay, yeah, I hear you. Stop. Um, so I will get an oven mitt and see how they look. Mmm. 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 We'll leave a minute for like another minute. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Hopefully they're a little more done now. Oh yeah, that looks good. So as you can see, they don't look fully 100% done, like they're really close, but that is oops um the secret to getting cookies oh these are a little too done that are soft on the inside and crispy on the outside because they still cook while you leave them on the pan so you have to take them out you have to take them out of the oven slightly prematurely so that they don't get burnt although these ones are looking a little extra brown but that's okay so yeah those should be good and then i like my cookies to be like flatter like these are kind of puffy so i kind of just like drop them like that and yeah, so we'll let them cool off and see how they taste. How would she be able to snap text me but not FaceTime me? Okay, so I think Emily and I are going to try a cookie now. We'll try one of the really brown ones. Ooh, this is hot. Hot, Ooh. hot, 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 hot. Should I set this tripod down? She said she's with her boyfriend. Yes. Ooh, add that in. <laughs> see if she actually watches your videos. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so, is it good? Um, I think it's good. Mm -hmm, so. I need them They're a little thicker than usual, but I like okay. them thick. Okay, well, that's all for today. I think they're good. The chocolate's really, can I have another one? I hope you try this recipe. I hope you well, enjoy it. Well, I can cook God. And if we get to 1,000 likes, she'll do a giveaway. I think this is a mukbang now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>